Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So I hope you're all doing well and staying healthy. In today's video, I'm going to try and recreate a makeup look that I found on Pinterest. I'm gonna try and recreate this picture right here. It is this really cool like purple eye look. So we will see how it goes. Um, I have not done makeup in a long time because I'm not that good at it, but we will see. I'm gonna try my best and let's go. I'm gonna start by taking my Smashbox primer water and Kind of spraying it on and then I'm gonna go in with a primer so I'm gonna go in with the benefit professional the look doesn't seem super complicated it's just kind of like I don't know regular smokyish look with the purple I honestly don't know how to talk like describe the makeup but next moving in for like base I'm going to use this your skin but better it cosmetics CC cream in light oh and I meant to wet my beauty blender all right, so I'm in Beauty Blender and see how this goes. Let's see, what can I talk about while I'm doing this? Cause this is not very exciting so far. For concealer, I'll go in with, do I even have any concealers? Oh, I'm going with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Okay, I guess I'll talk about what I've been watching recently. Um, I am watching Gilmore Girls for like the second or third time. I don't know why, just something about it is very like, entertaining and also calming if that makes sense very just light-hearted it's not like necessarily funny it's just i don't know it's just like a nice show to watch because i've been watching criminal minds we just finished season 14 and are getting cbs all access to watch season 15 because for some reason the first 12 seasons are on netflix and then the rest you have to either get on amazon prime or um something else but the 15th season isn't on amazon prime it's so dumb anyway so Criminal Minds, I love. And then as a family, we have been watching Homeland, which is, I think, Showtime. And it's really good, but again, it's just like, not even necessarily like heavy. Homeland, for those of you who don't know, is CIA. Um, and it's kind of working to like fight terrorism. And there's like different settings. Um, one season takes place in Germany, another in um, Islamabad, another in... I don't remember all the places, but it's definitely just like high action. Well, I mean, some episodes are definitely like higher action um, and I don't know, suspenseful. It's definitely very good and it's honestly just interesting because I find it like interesting to learn about like kind of like government organizations, if that makes sense. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with blush. And I've got this new blush stick that I really like. The only thing I'm not sure about is how it'll go over foundation because I usually just do it on my skin, but I guess I'll try it. I'm just gonna blend it out. I feel like I'm gonna take a white and like a cream color and this I'm just putting all over my lid as like a base. My least favorite thing about editing my videos is I talk and I'm like, it's my least favorite thing to and then I say blend like 30 seconds later and it's so hard because I have to like cut it together and it just makes me so mad like I can't for some reason speak in full sentences. Also, I use none of the right brushes for what I'm trying to do. This is the Morphe M505 brush. So this is when I went through like my makeup phase and I bought a few Morphe brushes. I just wasted my money on makeup. I just want to go on kind of like a tangent about makeup because I feel like that just recently I've been seeing a lot of things um, on social media and TikTok and Instagram and whatever about like makeup and like different videos like questions girls ask guys guys ask girls whatever and everyone says that they like a natural face better and I think that that's awesome I think that I feel like guys especially say like oh they don't like any makeup on and then it's like the same guys are going on social media and commenting on girls like videos or pictures and stuff like oh do a face reveal saying that they're wearing so much makeup you don't even know what they look like or just things like that and I feel like it's just so negative can't win either you don't wear makeup and then it's like oh you're not trying or oh you're not that pretty without makeup and then you put on makeup and then oh why are you wearing makeup you don't need it you're just trying too hard just like such a double standard I also feel like that so many people don't understand like that they don't wear makeup for other people they either enjoy doing it and they think it looks fun or they like feel self-conscious and kind of want to like cover up for themselves it's never something people are getting ready and thinking like oh I want to look good for this person so I'm gonna do my makeup I feel like people don't understand that personal choice and I feel like if people like it have negative comments about their makeup is so dumb 
and everyone's comfortable with different things and is confident however and let them do them and don't bother them that's all i'm saying i was also watching ashley her best dress video and they were just talking about how society hates on girls for the things that they like um and i think that's just so true i feel like makeup is just one of those things what i don't get is how people like do it right here like how people either have like a line or like blend it out all right it looks absolutely horrible like it does not look good at all oh my gosh I'm just gonna kind of smudge it out with my finger all right so actually i mean i don't hate the look as much as i thought i'm gonna blend it out a little bit more but you know it's not as bad as i initially So now I also need to do my lashes and then I'm gonna do my freckles. I do feel like that there's something about just like having mascara that just makes everything look a little bit more like natural kind of. Aside of course from the blue eyeshadow. For freckles, it looks like she might have used the same product I have, which it's a little freckle pencil called Freck. If Lime Crime would finally um, start producing their other freckle pen, I would love that because this one is literally tiny. So I think this is the finished product and I'm actually kind of happy with it, although it is definitely a lot more like toned down than her look. I definitely want to film more videos like this, which is trying out different looks because I've really been enjoying kind of experimenting and messing around with makeup. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, hope you're healthy and safe and just enjoying time together as a family if you're with your family. Love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.